Welcome back. So let's try and create our first REST API. Now I added this in the description, you can go and check it out. This is a very good tutorial on how to get started with the REST API and we're going to follow it step by step. Now I'm going to try and show you in Visual Studio uh, and in Rider actually this lesson on the Windows machine just to show you they're a bit different but the idea is exactly the same. So let's just start off by creating a REST API and then the next couple of lessons I'll start using it and explaining you what's going on with the REST API and the value of such a REST API. Now we want the REST API that's actually something that belongs in the UI. It's a way for us to present data it's going to be a way for us to present data to other application, but still it's a way for us to present data to the world, just like a console app is. So we're going to place a new project right here in the UI and I'll do it by saying add new project, just like we did earlier with our console app. And then here you have to pick .NET Core and you have to see there's a .NET Core web applications right here. And I'm just going to call my customer REST API, customer REST API. Now you should actually go in and give it a better name than what I'm doing right here. So maybe I'll call it a ESV.customer just to explain to the system that that's actually one of my REST APIs right here. I'll add it and it'll ask me some more questions. There you see. Now it asks me, do you want to make an API, a web application, an Angular application, a React or Racer class library? And we want to build an API. Okay, that's very important to pick that one. We don't want any authentication right now. You'll learn that later and we don't want to configure for HTTPS, but it won't hurt us anyway, so let's just keep it. And I'll say okay right here, Gajumi, it'll build a lot of stuff for me, and in the end it'll end up adding an actual project for me that we can dive into in the next couple of lessons. Now notice right here, if you go over here right now, you'll see you have a controller called the values controller, you have two other program files right here, a startup file and a program file, we're going to dive into those later. And you have a lot of dependencies that was actually pre-made for you to kind of start working with the .NET Core setup right here. So it's all built and everything is ready to run. But before we actually run it next lesson, I just want to show you the same thing in Rider, if that's what you're using. I'll go to the actual UI project here. I'll right click and say add new project, just like we did before. I'll pick, notice I'm under the .NET Core part right here. And I'll pick ASP.NET Web Applications. And I'll call it again, let's just call it ESV customer rest API 2 just to kind of explain this is another one the type right here will be web API notice I pick it on the same page right here and then I will just say no authentication like before and I'll say create so the exact same idea right it's just it's just two different ways of making the same thing right here and there we go now we're going to get the customer rest API 2 here as well now one thing you should notice right here is that it actually refreshed this guy without me restarting or doing anything like that but sometimes in Visual Studio it won't do that so notice it actually isn't sync here right now so it doesn't know that I added the new project but if you just restart Visual Studio it will pop up because it is actually part of the solution but now you have two ways you can create a project in Rider that's also for the Mac or you can create it in Visual Studio if you want to but it's very important you pick .NET Core and web API, right? Because we're building a REST API, not a web page, Angular, React, anything like that. We're building a web API. So remember that. See you next time. Have fun.